Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, today I take you through the structure and function of blood. So on the structure and the function of blood, uh, we can say that uh, uh, blood is composed of four parts or four components and these are the four components we have the plasma we have the red blood cells white blood cells and platelets. So those are the four components that make the blood. Uh, the plasma is the fluid part of the blood, but the others are cells that are found within the plasma. So we're going to look at each one of them, starting with the plasma. And uh, this is the fluid part of the blood consisting of mainly water, 90% of the plasma is water and suspended substances e.g. nutrients, plasma proteins, waste products, hormones, and so on and so forth. So basically, all those constitute uh, the plasma. So you're saying that the plasma is mainly water at about 90% and other suspended uh, substances making the remaining 10%. So uh, let's look at the functions of plasma. Uh, the fact that uh, it's a fluid uh, tells us that uh, it's mainly for transportation and it happens that uh, the plasma transports blood cells are containing various substances e.g. oxyhemoglobin so oxyhemoglobin is transported within uh, the plasma uh, the plasma also transports metabolic wastes to the excretory organs so that those metabolic wastes can be removed. Uh, next, the plasma also is a mistake here. Functions of plasma should be So also the plasma transports hormones from the site of production to the target organs. Other functions include heat distribution, Uh, regulation of pH transportation of dissolved gases
etc so basically those are the various uh, functions of the plasma the next component of blood and this is the red blood cells and these are biconcave shaped cells uh, that uh, transport oxygen and carbon four oxide so mainly the work of red blood cells is to transport oxygen and carbon four oxide and oxygen is transported in form of oxyhemoglobin that is oxygen plus hemoglobin uh, it's also important to look at uh, the so the next thing that uh, we shall look at are the adaptations of red blood cells so that they can carry out their functions effectively our uh, one is that they lack nucleus to provide more space for the packaging of hemoglobin and of course hemoglobin is uh, for transportation of oxygen and carbon four oxide which are the main functions or which are the main gases transported by the red blood cells another adaptation they are biconcave or disc shaped to provide a large surface area for oxygen transportation So the shape of uh, the red blood cells, they are biconcave with a sunken center, disc shaped with a sunken center. This is a red blood cell. That means it's disc shaped. The other uh, adaptation of the red blood cells is that they are elastic to be able to to be able to squeeze through narrow blood capillaries. during transportation number 4 they have or they contain hemoglobin which is the oxygen carrying pigment so basically those are the adaptations of uh, red blood cells also something worth mentioning about them
is how they transport transportation of carbon four oxide so carbon four oxide is transported in the red blood cells in form of um, a carbamino hemoglobin which is a uh, carbon four oxide plus hemoglobin uh, carbon four oxide can also be transported in form of a uh, weak carbonic acid a reaction that is catalyzed by an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase so those are the two ways in which carbon four oxide is transported by the red blood cells either in form of carbamino hemoglobin which is carbon four oxide plus hemoglobin or in form of weak carbonic acid a reaction that is catalyzed by enzyme an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase so we'll have an assignment on that So the first question state four functions of blood plasma number 2 state and explain three adaptations of red blood cells to their function so that marks the end of uh, today's lesson we'll continue from there next time goodbye <laughs>